the ATSB has published a preliminary report into its ongoing investigation into the collision with terrain of a Boeing 737 large air tanker while conducting a firefighting task in the Fitzgerald River National Park in Western Australia. In the afternoon of 6th of February 2023, the large air tanker, call sign Bomber 139, departed from Bustleton Airport with two pilots on board to the location of a fire near Hopeton, about 600 kilometres southeast of Perth. This animation has been developed from data obtained during the investigation and is for illustrative purposes only. It is not to be used for further analysis. This animation was produced by Flight Recorder Data and shows the final moments of the flight ending at impact. At the time of the collision, the aircraft was in the process of conducting a second aerial retardant drop, which was extending an existing line down slope. As the animation progresses towards the collision, you can see the throttles advance and the engines accelerate just before the aircraft strikes the ridge line with the stick shaker activating. Shedding engine, wing and fuselage debris, the aircraft impacted the ground a second time, sliding to rest about 176 metres from the ridge line, yawing left to the direction of travel. The fuselage had a main fracture near the tail. The left engine had separated from the pylon and was resting adjacent to the fuselage. With the captain observing a post-impact fire had started, both pilots then exited via the left cockpit window and moved clear of the wreckage and fire. The pair were subsequently rescued by a helicopter involved in the fire control activities with only minor injuries. The aircraft was consumed by fire and destroyed. With the arrival of ATSB investigators at the accident site, the cockpit voice recorder and the flight data recorder were recovered and transported back to the ATSB's Canberra technical facilities for download. As a result of fire damage to both recorders, the data recovery process required disassembly, inspection and repair of memory boards by the ATSB's recorder specialists. Following repairs to both memory boards, successful downloads of data were achieved, with the flight data recorder providing about 25 hours of flight data and the cockpit voice recorder about 30 minutes of audio on four channels. Information from those recorders, interviews with the flight crew, a drone-generated 3D map of the accident site and other recorded flight information will be instrumental to the ongoing investigation as the ATSB works to determine findings and develop a final report. You can read the preliminary report by searching AO-2023-008 on the ATSB's website or from the link below in the description.